What's up guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you seven proven ways to break plateaus in the gym. All right, so let's jump straight to it, guys. Uh, so what is a plateau? Essentially, a plateau is um, a three-week period where you're kind of stuck at the same rep range, same uh, weight, and you're not able to get any extra reps or go any slower, or move the weight any faster, anything like that. Um, and the first way to get over plateaus and to break it is changing your training style. So let's say uh, in my last video I posted, um, there were four different styles of training. I know I had strength training, uh, power training, high rep training, and hypertrophy training. So let's say that you're doing uh, strength training and your rep scheme is going to be somewhere around like uh, three to five. You're going to end up changing that to... Um, like let's say you go to power or hypertrophy so you're going to jump to a different rep range let's say hypertrophy that's around uh 8 to 12 reps so let's say you're doing you know 8 to 12 reps and you're still not seeing anything then i would say try the second way i'm going to tell you guys and that is um changing your technique you know checking your technique or changing your technique um and your mobility sometimes i know in the on the bench press especially um that's probably the exercise that i do the most um I know sometimes my shoulder mobility, um, you know, I'll just have a little bit of shoulder, you know, impingement or something will be too tight or too loose or something like that. So I know I'll have to work that out. Um, I regularly see physical therapists. So, you know, I get them to check out everything, them and the chiropractor, um, check everything out, make sure I've got good mobility so that I'm able to lift and, you know, do everything, you know, that I love to do. Um, so if it's not that, if it's not those first two, the third is going to be your diet. Diet is arguably uh, the most important. So if you aren't checking your diet, you know, if you, let's say you're going to McDonald's or Burger King, whatever, eating, you know, milkshakes and burgers and fries and all that stuff and you're stuck in the gym, one reason that you're not yielding, you know, the best gains that you can is probably your diet. Um, you're not getting enough protein. You're having, you know, too much fat in your diet, which your body does need fat in, uh, in order to regulate hormones. But... If you're not getting enough protein, um, too much fat or too much carbs, your your body's just going to store everything as fat, and you're not going to be able to uh, undergo the proper amount of uh, muscle protein synthesis after a muscle protein breakdown. Um, so let's say it's not those three. Let's go to the fourth method I'm going to tell you guys, and that is cutting back cardio. So cutting back cardio, um, cardio takes a lot of energy. So let's say you guys are you know trying to get in the gym, lift the heaviest weight you can. Uh, get as strong as you can. If you're doing a little bit, you know, a little bit too much cardio, um, your body is going to be taking a lot of that energy that's going to go back towards uh, your muscles rebuilding and muscle protein synthesis, um, and just you having the energy to lift, um, you know, the most weight that you can or the most reps that you can, whatever your goal is that day in the gym. Um, so, for instance, let's say you're going to the gym and you're trying to max out. Um, I would not suggest going to max out on squat, bench, deadlift, shoulder press, whatever you're going to max, you know, max on that day. I would not suggest going and running five miles before that. Um, I would say if your goal is to get better at cardio, then do cardio first, lift after. If your goal is to get better at lifting, whatever that is, um, bench press, squat, deadlift, shoulders, arms, whatever it is, um, I would say lift first, um, do cardio second. You know, whatever is the most important to you in the gym, do that first. Um, whatever you're not most important, that's kind of the wrong way to put it. But let's say whatever uh, your main goal is, like my main goal um, is, you know, to work on my bench press right now. So I'm not going to go in the gym and start doing shoulder press and curls and uh, flies and pull-ups and all this other stuff. You know, I'm going to work on bench press first and warm up, do bench press, get the, the most important thing to me at that, at that time. Uh, during that workout, I'm going to get that done first um, so that you have more energy going to that. Um, so the fifth uh, method I'm going to tell you guys is going to be rest. So for me right now, I'm doing a 5x4 with 225 on bench press. Um, everything's paused. I don't do any touch and go now with my back. Uh, my back's pretty messed up. So um, when I was doing touch and go, um, I tried that after about two months of not lifting at all. Um, you know, it was the first day back in the gym. I tried touch and go, and it messed my back up. It didn't lift for two more weeks. So I was out for almost three months uh, in the gym. Uh, last month was my first month back, and I was going, like, roughly three to four times a week. Nevertheless, 
Um, I discovered that like doing pauses and you know I was able to lift more weight doing pauses and I was able to kind of minimize like my back uh, pain. So um, resting in between sets right now I'm doing a five by four two twenty five, and I can't do a five by four two twenty five. Uh, rack it, wait five seconds, and do another set. You know, like I've got to do a set, wait like you know 30, 45 seconds, pick it up, do another set. You know, take roughly between 30, 30 seconds to uh, a minute to you know do you know to rest in between sets. Uh, make sure you get enough rest because it's pretty much like you're doing one set. If you're just gonna rack it, if you're gonna rack it, wait two seconds, unrack it again. You didn't give your body ample time to you know rest and recover from that stress um, and the duress your body was undergoing while you were lifting. Um, the sixth method I'm going to tell you guys is going to be increasing small weights. <clears throat> so when I found that doing um, five by two with 225 is easy enough, you know, it was super easy. I could do it whenever. Um, that's when I added. I couldn't quite do five by three with uh, 225, so I added uh, I think two and a half or fives on the side. Um, so I was like 230, 235. Um, and I did that for two for about a week. Um, after I noticed that, like I was stuck at a you know five by two. So after that, I was up. I went up, added fives uh, for a week. I was at two thirty five for a five by two. I jumped back down to two twenty five, and then I was like, oh wow, now I can do you know I, I could do three reps with two twenty five. So I did five by three with two twenty five, um, and pretty much the same deal. After that, I uh, kind of got stuck at like five by three with uh, two twenty five. So I did a week where I added five pounds on each side again. So I was at 235 for uh, two reps again. Um, and then I jumped back down to 225 and I was able to do five by four, which is what I'm at right now. Um, I'm at five by four right now, but I know I'm, I'm not at a plateau yet. Um, I can do, I think a five by three with, uh, or no, five by, you know, three by five with 225. but. Um, my last two sets, if I try fives, I'm going to get a four and a three usually, or two threes. So I'm just sticking with a five by four right now with 225, which is 20 reps total uh, during the workout for flat bench press. Um, so I would encourage you guys to increase, you know, add a two and a half or a five on each side. If you guys are stuck at a weight um, with the spotter, you know, just try to get up there. Um, and the last, the seventh and final um, thing I'm going to tell you guys that might help you is just probably one of the most important up there diet um, is just be realistic. <laughs> if you go and max out with 400 and let's say you max out 405 on deadlift, don't expect to max out with 405 on deadlift and the next time you go deadlift you hit it for two and the next time after that you hit it for three, four, and five. That got to be realistic with yourself. Um, if you're maxing out with 135 on bench press <clears throat> and you've never like bench press before, that's that's pretty realistic. You can hit 135 for one Maybe go in there the next week, hit it for two. The week after that, hit it for three. Once you start going up in weight, you hit 225, you're probably not going to max out with 225 one week. The next week after that, hit it for two. The week after that, hit it for three and four and five. Um, it, it starts slowing down. So um, your returns will deteriorate. They'll start you know, deteriorating. So um, I think that's like the law of deteriorating returns. Um, like the stronger you get and the more you lift, the harder it is to increase in weight. So say you max out with two two or yeah, two hundred and twenty five pounds on bench press. Um, you're not gonna go in, you know, in a month you might go in and hit two twenty five for two, um, or two twenty five for three the month after that. Um, but say you hit, you know, say there's a six month time span where you hit two twenty five, then you go up to three twenty five don't expect to hit 425 and 525, you know, month to month, back to back naturally. That's not going to happen. Um, with certain supplements like uh, steroids, pro hormones, things like that, um, they do aid in recovery and, you know, muscle gain, strength, and all that kind of stuff. But um, those, are, those aren't those are tested well enough for people to be able to take those without a doctor, you know, signing off on it. So be safe. Um, but, yeah, pretty much, guys. That's the video. Just make sure uh, you're changing your training style, your rep scheme. If you're stuck at a plateau, um, you can check your form and mobility, your diet, um, cut back cardio a little bit, uh, rest, increase small weight, uh, small increments in weight, and you know just be realistic with yourselves. So don't go in there thinking you're going to hit 100 pounds on something one day and then the next day hit two, three, four hundred pounds. 
and you got to be realistic and hold yourself accountable. So that's the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.